Some 70,000 people are in Barcelona this year for the Mobile World Congress, a chance to preview some of the latest innovations in mobile phone and tablet technology. Around 1,400 exhibitors, including almost all the big names except Apple, were present. Here in Barcelona, many cell phones became real video game devices in high definition and three dimensions. For example, the Korean company LG showed its Optimus 4x HD powered by a quad-core processor. That's four processors in one, a very powerful graphics card and 16 gigabytes of internal memory. LG also unveiled the 3D Max, an improved version of their 3D smartphone, another piece of good news for gamers. Uh, it creates less nausea because a lot of people, uh, when they were looking at the 3D devices, basically it was, it was causing a little bit of discomfort for, for their viewing. Uh, and the good thing is, obviously, we've improved the viewing angle. So even at, a, at an acute angle, I can still free the con uh, 3D content very, very clearly. Nokia presented its new range of Lumia smartphones based on a simpler interface using the Windows phone platform. Here in Barcelona, its rival Android has had much more publicity. It gives users bags of choice when it comes to running apps. The applications that we are highlighting with this, for instance, is the public transport application where you can see now from here how I can get to my destination, what are the next uh, alternatives uh, for transport and how long it takes, takes me to get there. Taiwanese company Asus showed a device it calls a pad phone, a smartphone tablet combo that converts into a laptop using the same memory. In Barcelona, we're presenting this last generation of cell phones, Ultra Compact. It's not only a cell phone, but in a moment when I put it in the docking station called Pad Station, in a few seconds it becomes a pad. And then I can attach a keyboard to it. This pen, which allows me to manage the controls and the functions, lets me answer the phone without taking it out of the pad. Since the start of the telephone. Swedish company Doros unveiled new software to help elderly people use a smartphone. There's a very straightforward user interface with big icons which control all the functions, emails, social networks and pictures. Plus, the device can be controlled remotely. It's a website which allows you to configure the device, which is accessible by the person themselves, or their children, friends, or a third party who's helping someone manage the setup of their phone. It could be the content of applications which can be downloaded, bought, or multimedia content like pictures or photos, which could be uploaded by someone else. As well as the big names, there were several smaller firms in Barcelona, such as Swedish company Scalado. They've developed a camera with an interesting function. You're taking a picture and just at the moment you press the button, someone walks in front of your subject. Now with the touch of another button, you can remove the offending person and restore your image.